What the bleep is Taoism? Of all the world's spiritual traditions, Taoism remains to this day the least understood. And don't just take my word for that. Modern scholars agree. Why is Taoism so hard to come to terms with? Not just here in the West, but in China. So little is known about it. It's, it's, it's so tricky to define. I mean, who started it? What are its central tenets? What do they believe? You know, do they have a God? Today, we're going to find out, at least from my perspective, we're going to look at this question and, and come to terms with it. And I think uh, you'll find the answers pretty interesting. So for me, uh, the Taoist tradition is all about qi. It's all about energy. And that is the main conceptual leap you'll need to make to come to terms with, with Taoism. Taoism cannot be understood in the mind, right? The ancient Taoist texts say, Tao zhe qi ye. The Tao is qi. Qi and the Tao the Tao is, is the way, it's what Taoism is about, right? It's, it's about qi, right? And so to understand Taoism, we need to experience it in the body. To experience it in the body, we have methods and practices that we do um, to feel it and work with it and understand what it is, right? Right from the beginning, the Taoists, if we can call them that, uh, were skeptical of language. For them, true knowledge could not be found in language because language limits and confines. As soon as we put something into language, including this talk that we're having, <laughs> it's not the truth, right? It diminishes it. It, it. it forces it down into one perspective, and by having one perspective, you lose the ultimate perspective. Um, and so their way of getting around this was through practice, right? So we can talk about things, we can think about things, but at the end of the day, to really experience what Taoism is, you need to find a Taoist teacher and practice, right? Or join a group of Taoists um, in, doing, uh, in a temple setting, doing a chant, or meet a Taoist doctor, right, who can, who, who can heal you uh, and um, help you connect with the Tao, right? Um, Taoism ha has been around for thousands of years and over that course of that complex, rich complex history, um, there have been many different expressions of what Taoism is. Um, I generally call them lineages, right? So there's different lineages that have come down to us to the present day um, of Taoist practice and Taoist wisdom and knowledge. Um, and each of these lineages, uh, has their own perspective on what, what the Tao is, right? It's really neat. And I think that's why it's so hard to pin down, right? If you look at Christianity, you can, you can basically take everything back to this fella, you know, what's his name? Jesus, yes. <laughs> uh, and you can have some basic ideas of what he said and, and there's some agreement. Although even if you, you drill, you go back to that point, the first hundred years, there was a lot of disagreement about what he said. Um, but we'll, we'll just sidestep that for the moment. It's a little clearer than for, for with Taoism, right? Uh, and that's the truth, say, with the Buddha, right? We have, we have you know, the Buddha was a historical f figure uh, who existed at one, at one time and he, he, he taught in a certain way, right? With Taoism, we don't have that. We have a group of texts, but even those texts, say the first text, the Tao Te Ching, which is, is sort of the, 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 the most important one most Taoists would, would, would talk about, even it is, not, is thought not to have been written by one person. It's, it was, it's thought to be a collection of poetry that had been around for a few hundred years about what it is to be human and, and, and the nature of, of, of the world, right? and uh, the human experience and how we can better um, become human, right? 
And so very, uh, it's very loose. There, there's nothing we can kind of grab onto, right? Uh, um, even its, its later sort of what we call religious um, expression, which, which, really, which really started up, say, uh, just after the Han Dynasty, about 2,000 years ago, uh, and in, in Sichuan province, um, you have a more, uh, what we would think of as religions, so you have more and more sort of a, um, oh, there's a God, and we worship him, there's, there's ritual, right? And there was a community um, that grew up around this, this more, more uh, religious expression. But even that's just an expression, right? Uh, there are definitely scholars who say, no, that is where Taoism starts, and that's how we define Taoism. Um, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not of that camp. I don't, I don't think, I think Taoism is bigger than that. I think, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's approach to understanding the body and understanding qi, using the body and using qi to understand ourselves and the world around us um, is bigger than that. And so we have these various lineages, and there's the temple lineages. You have the, the more religious side of, of Taoism. Um, I put those in square quotes because even the word religion, if you drill down to it, just drill down into it, just it falls apart, um, right? I mean, spiritual tradition is, is a, little, a little easier for, for most people to take. It makes a little more sense. Um, and then we have, so we have, the, we have the temple traditions, we have the mountain traditions. The mountain traditions are, are um, lineages of practitioners who are just focused on um, self-transformation, right? Uh, and then you have domestic Taoists as well who are involved in their local communities, helping the local communities um, from everything from medicine to uh, fortune telling, but also just, you know, almost like a, It'd often be almost like a shrink, someone you'd come talk to and they would help you with family problems and whatnot, right? Um, you know, and, and, and so Taoism is, uh, it's, it's, it's everywhere in, in ancient China. And one of my uh, um, professors in university, I went to grad school and studied Taoist studies in grad school, and one of my, 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 my supervisor put it this way, he's like, you know, one way you can think of this stuff in, in China in traditional China is, is you have this sort of, the Chinese sort of, Chinese thought, intellectual landscape, Chinese culture, right, is like a landscape. And out of this landscape, you have kind of these mountains, these peaks that come up out of this landscape, which we could call sort of Taoism, uh, the literati guys, Confucians, right, Buddhism, right. But it, it, they're all very much a part of this, land, of this landscape. In other words, there's not clear distinctions between these various traditions in ancient China. Uh, another way, way we can look at Taoism as a, is as a, a deeply embedded cultural perspective, right? So it's, it's very, very deep down in, in the way um, Chinese view the world and the way they go about things, right? I, I once took lessons in the Gu Qin, which is a, a Chinese instrument. I went to a, a tradition, who, a, a teacher, uh, who's a traditional teacher, and he got me, first thing he, he taught me was posture of my body, spine is straight so that the, the shoulders are relaxed, tongue touches the upper palate so that the qi can flow, the qi is a part of the music. We can't play music well if we don't understand qi, and, which is energy, how energy flows. A painter as well, like they will use you understand how to how to put she into the brush, into the ink, onto the paper, so that the painting um, has an energetic imprint, right? And so all of that can can kind of it's all kind of in there, um, and maybe maybe Taoism is. Uh, is is not the best definition, right, for all that stuff. Um, it, maybe it's just Chinese cultural stuff. It's just whatever it is. But I think Taoism is a useful, um, a, a useful, uh, a useful title, useful name for all that stuff. Um, especially here in the West, uh, it gives us something to attach to, uh, and categorize that stuff. However, my one placeholder, that's what I'm looking for, is it, it can be a useful placeholder. However, and this is my one caveat, and this is very important, is as long as we don't get too attached to it.
right? It can be a useful starting point to understand, okay, what is Taoism and Taoism is a thing. And okay, these people are Taoism, Taoists and they usually do this and, and they sometimes they don't usually do that or whatever, however it is you come to that. Um, but we also need to, to be able to, to let go of that and, and, and um, stay loose in our mind, right? Don't take it too seriously. But maybe that in itself is Taoist, right? It goes back to the, the, the opening word line of the Tao Te Ching, right? Tao ke Dao, Fei Chang Dao. You know, it's the, 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 re, the true Tao cannot be expressed in language, you know? So you just gotta have fun, right? Just have fun with it. Um, and so I think uh, Taoism is, um, it's a tradition that is embodied. It's a tradition where we learn about energy and we understand how energy works in the world inside ourselves and the world around us. And there's many different expressions of that that can happen, including ritual Taoism, um, martial arts, medicine, uh, lineages of self-transformation, which is what I'm involved, which I teach uh, for my teacher is a mountain lineage. Um, all of that is Taoist, right? It's all Taoist. Uh, and I think that's, that's why Taoism is so difficult to come to terms with intellectually, right? Because it's an experience. And it's, it's, a, it's a real experience. There's something there to experience. It's not just an experience of everything. It's, there's, something distinctive. there's something distinctive about it, right? Um, but it's, it's tricky to, to put into words, right? Uh, my teacher, Wang Liping, uh, he, he, he puts it this way. He's like, the Buddhists start with wisdom. The Taoists start with the body. As you pro progress through the, tr the training, right? Uh, they cross over, right? And so at high level Buddhist practice, they also deal with the body. And as Taoists progress through their practice, the body, they also arrive at wisdom, right? Um, one's not better than the other. They're just different. And they work differently for different kinds of people as well, right? Um, yeah. And I think that's w another reason why Taoism is so little unknown here in, in the West and in China um, is because they did not proselytize. They don't have the sense that everyone should be a Taoist the way that Buddhists do, right? Or, or in Christianity or these other very well-known world traditions, um, right? They feel they have something very valuable to offer, and so therefore they want to offer that to other people, right? The Buddhists want to relieve suffering. I mean, it's a, it's a wonderful thing. It's not like they're bad guys or anything, but <clears throat> it's just a little different. I think the Taoists, they realize that um, there are so many different ways of, of, of doing things and coming about um, truth, and it's really up to uh, it's really up to each person whether they adopt, uh, they, they come into the Taoist tradition or don't, right? Do they have the Taogu, the, the Taoist bones, or, or don't they? And if they don't, that's fine. You know, maybe later or some future life they will. For now, it doesn't really matter. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's Taoism 101. Um, there's a lot more we could say. We can get to yin yang theory, all the you know the the, the 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 typical stuff that people look at when they look at Taoism. But I think this um, I think this way of talking about Taoism, I think it I think it works, and I think you know if you, if you really want to know more about what the Taoist tradition has to offer, then you got to practice it. Don't think, practice, right? Find a practice and go for it. Um, find a teacher, right? You know, read books, sure, to get you started, right? But it has so much to offer. Mm -hmm.